Hello everyone. It is exam day. I have my English exam and my history exam. <laughs> exam day. This is Alexis. Hey guys. And Jennifer. It's the vlog did you, squad. Did you already have your first exam? Yeah, I did have my Spanish exam and I finished it too fast and I think like I didn't do anything right. How do you feel about the geometry? Oh, I'm um, it. Like, it can either go really <laughs> We're not going to talk about it because... <laughs> I really. Who's behind us? I hope I enjoyed we're not that. Consent, so. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sue. Fun. For exams, we do two exams a day, four days of exams. So we do um, A B one day, C D. You know, you get it. Today I had A and B. My A period class was history, so I'm going to quickly share about that. So for history, we get to write an essay ahead of time. So we were able to start writing, I think last Friday maybe? So for exam day, there's two parts. The first part is like um, a packet of like questions. So usually when classes do two different parts of exams, it's an hour for one part and an hour for the other part. But since history, we already had time to work on our essay. He just gave us whatever time we needed for the first part. And then the rest of the class time that we had, we could just work on our essays. I had already finished my essay, so all I needed to do was turn it in. The written part was pretty long. It was just about like all these articles that we had to like answer questions about. I finished with, I think, 45 minutes left. And I was a little upset because usually teachers allow you to go on your phones after you finish your exam, but my history teacher did not. He was like, if I see a phone out, you get an automatic zero on your exam even if it's after you turned it in. I thought I failed it, but when I was in my second class, I got a notification on my phone that I got a 92 on it, so like... Moving on to English. This is where things go downhill. For English, it's pretty similar to history. We have an essay part and then a little written response part. We get a challenge essay, that's what it's called, I don't really know. Basically what you have to do is read and annotate an article and then you have to write an essay about it in an hour. Well I'm pretty sure I'm like illiterate or something because it took me like 20 million years to read that article. Things just like flow out of my mind so like I don't actually pay attention to what I'm reading which is not good in my case. So I was sitting by the windows and all the shades were down besides the window like right in front of me. Basically. I looked outside for five seconds and this bright orange car pulls up into the parking lot and parts and I'm like dang that's a bright car like so there's a parking lot a tennis court a parking lot and then a building I noticed that the building was like smoking and I was like whoa look at the smoke so of course I got distracted by that yet again so now that I'm done looking at the smoke in the orange car I go to write my essay so I'm writing I'm doing fine life is great and I get to my second paragraph I'm pretty sure I wrote a sentence and my teacher goes class you have about 15 minutes left so i just went we've got three paragraphs this is my last sentence if these farm people could live in a world like rosetto they would be much happier good morning everyone it is 6 32 i have my spanish and my math exam today I don't really need to study for math, but I'm gonna study a little bit on the bus for Spanish. It's 12.48 right now, I'm home. First exam was Spanish. I was kind of stressed about it because like, one, I didn't study, and two, I missed a whole unit. But when I actually got it, it was pretty easy. I vlogged a little bit, but we had to whisper because other people were still testing, so here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. It was so great, I bet. Then we had a 20 minute break. I was gonna study off of my math study guide, but um, I ended up not. But anyway, I took the math test. Um, it took a while because there were so many questions. Like, It wasn't that hard. There were a couple questions that I had no idea how to do, so. But after that, I went on the bus and I got a notification on my like power school app thing. Basically my Spanish grade went up by a point because I got a 92 on the exam, so. Well, I honestly thought that I failed everything, so kind of proud of myself, not gonna lie. <laughs> Bailey, shut up! Oh my goodness, look at how cute she is. <laughs> look at her face. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. 
Oh, baby, I love you. It is Friday, we have a three day weekend, and then we get back on Tuesday. So today we had a two hour delay, so exams started at 9.25 instead of 7.25, meaning that my only exam today started at 11.45, so I had to stay at school from 9.25 to 11.45. And then my guitar exam literally only took me five minutes to do. So I was at school for four and a half hours um, to take a five minute exam. But yeah, I got a 97 on it, so. I also found out that I got an 84 on my math exam, so. Tomorrow I have my chem exam, but we're allowed to have one note card. So I spent all night filling it out. Hey, what's up? We're at Gansett right now. Ooh, I look gross. Um, finally finished all my midterms. Um, we took our chem exam. It went really well. I probably failed it, but that's fine. I found out that I got an 81 on my chem exam, so it brought my grade down two points, so really love that for us. <laughs> look how cute she looks. <laughs> it's not even, it's like literally lopsided. Okay, I'm so happy because Ow. Duncan so got, um, so last year they got rid of their mm -hmm. coconut caramel coffee and they just got it back and I'm so freaking happy and I realized that it's a Girl Scout cookie thing so it's probably that but Jennifer ordered these fries from Gansett. Gansett is the best place in the whole entire world so if you've never been there I highly suggest you go there and if it's in a different state take the time out of your day and go there. All right those are boring. Never ended this video but I hope you all enjoyed. Please give it a like and subscribe because that would be cool but if you don't want to I totally understand I'm just gonna go cry in a corner now. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Uh, adios. <laughs>